Hello friends, this video on binary theorem part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Let's understand why do we need binary theorem. Let's suppose we have a problem where we have to expand a plus b to the power n, where n can be any values. Let's try with b is equal to 2. So if we are asked to expand a plus b whole square, If you want to expand a plus b square, what we will do, we will say a plus b into a plus b and this is equal to a into a is a square, this a into b is a b, now this b into a is b a and the left is b into b is b square. So what we got is a square plus a b plus b a plus b square, we can also say a square plus 2ab plus b square. This was quite simple. Now if, if we are asked to say find out a plus b whole cube, so what we will do? We will do a plus b into a plus b into a plus b. So first we will multiply these two. So what we will get is a plus b into this we have expanded now so we can use this a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now we will multiply a with a square, we get a cube. Now I get a with the second term that is 2ab, that is 2a square b plus a with b square, you get a b square. Plus now with b with a square, so what will get b a square, so I write here b a square is a square b plus b with 2ab, what you get is 2ab square. I'll write here plus b with b square you get b cube. So what you get you add this the reason why I have written like this is to make things clear a square b a square b is here here so what if you add this what you get is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So if you see that when we solved a plus b square it was a little simple this was of medium difficulty. If we continue this, if you want to solve a plus b to the power 4, this will be more complex. Here will be, we have to first find a plus b whole cube and then we have to multiply a plus b with this. So if you do like this, what you get is a plus b into a plus b whole cube which we already found, we will use this here, a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So if you solve this, you will get, we will solve this, a into a cube is a4, a into a square b is 3 a cube b, this becomes 3 a square b square and this becomes a b cube plus this becomes a cube b, this becomes 3 a square b square, this becomes 3 a b cube and this becomes b4. So what you get is a4 plus 4a cube b plus 4 6 a square b square plus 4a b cube plus b4. So if you see it's getting difficult the moment you increase the power it getting difficult. So if you are supposed to find a plus b to the power let's suppose 30 it will take days to solve because we have to say a plus b into a plus b 30 times and then we have to solve it. It will become very 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 difficult to solve such kind of questions. But in lot of places in scientific applications and other things we need to find a plus b to the power 50 or 60 that means we need to find expressions to the high power. So what we should do? Here comes binomial theorem to rescue us. So here we have binomial theorem to rescue. But please note this binomial theorem holds true only for n positive. That means if I say a plus b to the power 100 or 90, so let's suppose a plus b to the 100, it is true. We can find the values. But if I say a plus b to the power minus 100, we can't find the values. Please note this binomial theorem is only for positive and only. So let's see what binomial, binomial theorem says. According to binomial theorem, if we have a plus b to the power n, any formula, we can expand this in this form, 
n c naught a to the power n n c one a to the power n minus v into b n c two a to the power n minus two b square. We keep doing that till n c n b to the power n. So you notice there is a pattern here. The pattern is I start with n c zero. You see this is n c zero. This is n c one. This is n c two. This is n c three. n c four. It goes till n c n. That is the coefficient. And if you see the actual expression, it starts with a to the power n, and this is b to the power zero actually. Then the power of a decreases and b increases. For example, here a was n, it becomes n minus one, that is minus one, and here b was zero, it became one. The next term it will become again one more minus, so this terms become n minus two, and this guy becomes one plus one two. Similarly, it will keep decreasing. The coefficient of a will keep decreasing, and the coefficient of a b will increase. That's how the formula is. Once again, if you see n c naught, it goes from n c naught to n c n. That is n c naught, n c one, n c two, n c three, n c n minus one, n c n. And for the coefficient of a and b, first the coefficient of a in the first case it is n and b is zero. And gradually we keep decreasing the coefficient of a, and we keep increasing the coefficient of b by one. So we can write the same formula in this form: a plus b to the power n is equal to summation. This symbol is used for summation, where I am saying k is equal to zero and k goes to n. So if you see here, if you see k is equal to zero, it becomes n c naught a to the power n because k is zero and b to the power zero. So this is nothing but the first term. If you put k is equal to one, this become n c one a to the power n minus one b to the power one. This is nothing but the second term. If you see second term is equal to n c one a to the power n minus one b to the power one. Similarly, if you want to find the third term, k is equal to two, that is n c two a to the power n minus two b to the power two. If you see this is equal to the second term. If you find want to find the nth term, this become n c n k is equal to n. And this becomes a to the power n minus n is equal to zero. So this term a to the power zero is equal to one is gone, and b to the power k becomes b to the power n. And that's what the last term is. Last term is n c n b to the power n. So if you see, we can also write a to the power a plus b to the power n in this form, where we say summation of n c k a to the power n minus k b to the power k, where k goes from zero to n. Let's take one example. If we say Two plus x to the power four. Let's suppose we want to find the value of this. So here, a is equal to two, and this x is equal to b. So if you see the formula, this becomes n is equal to four, and this is n. So we'll say four c zero a is two, two to the power four. And x to the power zero plus four c one two to the power three four minus one into x to the power one plus four c two two to the power two because we are subtracting this and we are increasing the power of x plus four c three again we increase the power of decrease the power of two that becomes one. And we increase the power of x plus four c four into two to the power is zero. It becomes that's one. And x to the power four. So this is the formula. If we expand this two plus x to the power four, it becomes this. Here two is equal to a. This is equal to two. B is equal to x, and n is equal to four. So we have used the same formula. N is equal to four. We say four c zero. And this becomes a to the power n to the power four x to the power zero because this is b to the power zero. In the next case, we say four c one. We increase the power of decrease the power of two by one that is two to the power three, and we increase the power of x by one. In the third term, we decrease again the power of two by one, and we increase the power of x by. So if if we notice this, this will become four c zero is one into two to the power four is sixteen. And x to the power zero is one plus four c one is equal to four into two to the power three is eight into x plus 
फोर सी टू इज इक्वल टू फोर सी टू इज्कल टू फोर परमिटेशन बाई टू परमिटेशन इंटू टू परमिटेशन एंड दैट बिकम फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू परमिटेशन सो यू कैंसिल दिस सो यू कैंसिल दिस बिकम सिक्स सो यू बिकम सिक्स इंटू टू दावर टू इजल टू फोर इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर फोर सी थ्री इज ऑल्सो इज गल टू फोर इंटू टू इंटू एक्स क्यू प्लस फोर सी फोर इज गल टू वन इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर सो दिस गाय बिकम्स सिक्सटीन प्लस थर्टी टू एक्स प्लस सिक्स इंटू फोर ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट एक्स क्यू प्लस एक्स टू दावर सो दिस इज द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ टू प्लस एक्स टू दावर फोर यूजिंग माइनोवल थियर इट्स वेरी सिंपल यू जस्ट नीड टू understand the pattern there is a pattern here it start with nc0 it goes to ncn every time you increase the nc0 nc1 nc2 you increase that uh, the lower part of c by 1 and as far as as far as a and b coefficient are concerned you decrease the coefficient of a by 1 and you increase the coefficient of b by 1 every time so you get this formula also you can see a plus b to the power n is equal to nck एट पर एन माइनस के बी टू दर के समेशन के इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू एन विल प्रूव दिस इन द इन आवर वीडियो विल प्रूव दिस इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड्स हाउ दिस फॉर्मुला हैज कम बट बिफोर दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर दिस दिस इज वेरी क्रूशियल फॉर्मुला यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस सो प्लीज पे अटेंशन टू दिस ए प्लस बी टू दर एन इज इक्वल टू एन सी के एट टू दर एन माइनस के बी टू दर के समेशन के इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू एन Also, there are some points to be noted in this formula. Here are some points to be observed. The total number of terms in the expansion is index count plus one. For example, when you say expansion of a plus b to the power four, this should have two plus one is equal to three terms. In our example, when we say two plus x to the power four, it should have four plus one is equal to five terms. We'll see this. We'll go back and see the slide. So you see, we have two plus x to the power four. It should have four plus one five terms. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. So there are five terms in x plus two to the power four. So the number of terms in a plus b to the power n is n plus one. So the general formula is in a plus b to the power n expansion number of terms is equal to n plus one. Please note number of terms is One greater than the coefficient. Also, the power of first quantity, as explained, goes decreasing by one, where the power of second quantity as b increases by one. I have seen, I have showed you that the power of a increases and the power of b decreases. So, if you see here, the power of a is decreasing a to the power n, a to the power n minus one, n minus two, and here it is one and zero. But the power of b increases from zero, one, two. It goes to n. Also, each term of the expansion, the sum of indices of a and b is same and is equal to index of a plus b. So if you see, I'll show. so in this term, if you see, the sum of index is always same. n is equal to n plus zero is n. n minus one plus one is n. n minus two plus two is n. One plus n minus one is n. Zero plus n is equal to n. Here also, if you see the common formula, we have got n minus k plus k is equal to n. So the power, the sum of power of a plus b is always equal to n. That is the power of this. Here also, if you see, since we have taken two, so we can't find. But had this been y, we could have seen that the power is same. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to. Watch free educational videos. Try free online test. Get the best quality study material. Study from the best tutor and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.